Hello. It's lunchtime. We've got some hot box pizza. This one's getting kind of cold because we already ate our pizza, but it's still pretty good. So favorite pizza today was hot box. Thanks for the pizza. Even though they didn't, I bought it. There's a few week zero events happening. We've all seen some release videos of some pretty cool robots. We've also seen some, some of these field structures and how they work. We can talk about a few of those things. Probably the most impressive thing I saw, I'm sure you guys saw it too, was Team Orbit 1690's video out of Israel. The team that was the Alliance captain for Chessy Champs 2021, mm -hmm. that won Chessy Champs. Undefeated. They come back, well, they're undefeated. They come back with a really impressive robot that just drives around the field, having fun, and I'm just driving and shooting balls into the high goal or the, the upper hub, and it's uh, scoring at will. On the fly. Yeah. They're actively doing the math while they're driving around, figuring out how fast the robot's going, how close it is to the, to the target, and shooting on the fly and not stopping. One of the most impressive things I've ever seen in FRC. Yeah, that's, period. That's like, that's like week seven, week eight type level of play. It's like two weeks before week one. So kudos to you, Orbit. Lots of respect. I also noticed uh, in the Orbit video, they put a little roof on top of their lower hub. And when you, when you put a ball in the hub, it mostly bounces out as opposed to the wooden field without any kind of a roof like that. It's just, the ball's just gonna stay in there. It doesn't act like it does at an official event, but at least it gets the ball out randomly from that lower hub area. So um, we put a little tarp on ours, nice simple little tent tarp thing, and it seems to work pretty well. So I recommend do something like that. It's gonna help you out for you low hub scorers. Third thing I wanna say, and you guys have some things to say too. I started watching some of those week zero events. I didn't see many lower hub scores. I saw everybody shooting at the upper hub, not doing that well. Most of them didn't, but I, I understand it's week zero. They're trying to dial it in. They're trying to get their things to work. There's gonna be a lot of success for week one teams scoring balls in the lower hub. Totally agree. I mean, the, the bounce out problem on the upper hub is, it's real. You, you can't just take your infinite recharge shooter and expect it to just work with all the backspin. You just want that game piece to just barely press over the edge. And you want to reduce the spin on that game piece as much as possible. Both of those things, the height and the amount of spin, in our team's part of really early this season, were like things you got to dial in real, real well for this game. Even though our high goal shot's pretty good, we're probably going to spend half of our match dumping in the low hub too, just because of the uncertainty of that to start week one. A thing we learned that was surprising after watching match play is the sprint distance is like eight feet or less in this game. It's a really, really short drive time for to your next game piece because it feels so congested, especially on the sides of the field because the hub takes up a lot. Add six robots in, it's congested. We actually changed our drive gearing from 15 feet a second to like right around 10 feet per second so we can get a little bit more acceleration based on gameplay that we saw. What's the kit chassis? Kit chassis is 10.701 ratio. Yeah. Is that like 11 to 12 feet per second? It's like 11 to 12, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we went to the, the lowest tough box ratio available. The what, 12? 12.71. On six inch wheels. Okay, so what else did you guys see at um, some of those events? Game pieces kind of collect exactly where we expected. I mean, yeah. early in the season, we got to play the XRC simulator. And when you play that game that replicated Rapid React, all the game pieces fucked on the sideboarder. And it was kind of refreshing to see that actual match play, game pieces were on the sideboarder. That's where they ended up after they came out of the hub. That's probably gonna be your primary cycle is on one side of the field, find your two game pieces on the sideboarder and try to sort of cycle those out until you run out of them and switch sides. Make sure your intake can like scrape the wall. If yeah. You don't want to have to come out and go head on. You want to be able to drive down the side mm -hmm. and go. Yeah, definitely. How about defense? Was there was there much defense being played? Oh these yeah, games? yeah. Sorry. But in finals two, 125's robot, something wasn't quite working right. They shut down three robots at once with their swerve drive. It was awesome to watch. So they were just blocking teams from getting to the, yeah. the hub area? That's exactly what they were doing. They were basically just like playing right on the tarmac here playing just, I'm in the way defense, positional defense. Since the, the travel is only eight feet or less, it's not high speed defense. It's yeah. not ramming like what we saw in 2017. It's just right. positioning and blocking, not ramping. Yeah. Okay, I like Be that. in the way. Getting in the way. Yep, cool. that's, that's gonna be a big deal. I mean, a lot of teams are optimized for this fender shot. So getting in the way of that, big deal. A lot of robots um, and Especially ours um, swing a lot when they they climb and they'll hit the glass. So, gonna be 
make sure your, your driver station is set up well. You don't want your controllers flying off because your own teammate is slamming into the wall there. Speaking of that, we do have the driver station tray, so you can put all your controls in there. It's got a bunch of Velcro on the bottom. Make sure it's nice and secured to the, to the shelf there so your laptop doesn't go flying. Yeah, we love ours. It's durable, it holds things well, we love it. Plus you can serve lunch to some of your team members if you choose to take your controls off and maybe you serve them soda or chips mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay, so these balls are, um, this is a new ball. Mm -hmm. You can tell it because it does. it's not very fuzzy. So you, you see a lot of fuzz and hair or whatever on some of the older balls. And I think something you got to watch for the teams out there is I would recommend saving one or two of, the, of your new balls, put it in a bag, put it away. Don't let your team get at it because you don't want all your balls to be in the same exact condition. You want to test your shooter or test whatever you're doing with a, a newer ball and an older ball, mm -hmm. especially when you get like maybe the night before the event and you're tuning in your auto mode, I would recommend using a new ball to tune that auto mode in that last time, yep. not one of your old scrungy balls. So don't assume that your collector, your intake and your shooter is gonna work the same with this ball versus that ball. And then we have a, a new product that Nathan could talk about, the development and how maybe that'll help the situation with these different types of balls. Yeah, so we got this uh, two roller here. So this sort of a, uh, Complement to the sushi rollers we came with earlier this year. It's just a um, hex spacer extrusion with some surgical tubing over it. And the real cool part about this is the ends. So they're both tapped for uh, shoulder bolts, and that shoulder bolt can spin inside of a round bearing. And this allows you to easily unscrew the shoulder bolts and drop your roller out if you need to replace it because it got bent or worn out or whatever. We've got the bearing ends and also the hex drive end so you can power this easily. And it's pretty grippy on the balls, so. Yeah, it's pretty new one. Pretty grippy. All right, so Nick, here, here's a challenge. From this spot, can you make a hook shot? Hook shot? You ready? You first. No, oh. bounced out. No, oh. basically an air ball. Have fun. We hope to see you at, out at the event soon. I look forward to seeing what you guys created. Have a great season.